Um, most of the time when I show my documentaries, I'm accused that these films are not documentaries. Uh, so this is like probably uh, even the, the starting point for, for our discussion or maybe for our uh, uh, little time together to, to view some films of, of myself and discuss some, some projects of, of you. Um, it's almost uh, probably a little anachronistic that uh, in this sense I do uh, say something about documentary. Uh, these documentaries that I do are, are in, in many ways old-fashioned. They are they're shot on film, they, they are never shot on, on any digital medium, um, they are mostly projected in, in movie theaters and nowadays this is getting a little more common but when I shot the first uh, film Megacities that you will see today it was almost sort of forgotten that, that uh, uh, documentaries make their way to, to movie theaters and they are very uh, they're in, in, in a sense they are the opposite to direct cinema um, I, I have the, the strong theory that without, uh, uh, maybe with the exception of a football match or a war, there is no situation in the real world that you actually can uh, capture in a way that you do not influence reality. Uh, so the films and uh, the approach to filmmaking that uh, you come across when you deal with my work is uh, something where I make it very obvious that um, that you it do influence reality. These films are about looking, these films are about a reality, but these films never pretend that there is any kind of private reality that you can enter with a movie camera without altering it. So what I do in the first place, I do alter reality to show reality. So I think it's a myth that you go somewhere and you think that when you take even a photo camera between you and me or between me and the politician, you do not change everything that would happen if you wouldn't have a camera. Even if you do an interview, you put a huge distance between you and the person you interview. At the moment you sit, make him sit in a chair, at the moment you stick a camera in his face and at the moment you stand behind that camera and wire the person, you extremely alter reality. I think that documentary filmmaking and to show things from real life is, is also and not so far from all fiction filmmaking, uh, a huge step towards altering reality and towards showing how it really is. And the last thing you would want to do if you show something that happens is to just film it. Because at the moment you, you put a camera up, you change the perception just by framing. That's sort of the first step of creativity and the first step of showing the world. And I think that uh, to pretend that something is utmostly real in front of your camera is, is sort of the first lie you have to rid yourself when you start to make a movie. You have to think of how you want to present the world, how you see it and what you see and what you feel when you see something. And then there is many means how you can capture that. There is uh, many uh, tricks and also many uh, uh, truthful approaches how to show so something like it really is. Um, the first clip I'm going to show you is uh, from the city of Bombay. It's, it's a documentary that was made in, the, in, in four different cities around the world. It's this documentary is called Megacities. Um, and uh, my task when I set out to, to do this film was to 
to look at cities and to look at the world that I didn't know so far. So my first approach was to start looking. To start looking and to go out into a city and just to start filming is probably one of the most challenging things you can ever have, even if it's your own city. If somebody gives you a camera in your hand and go, says, go out there, go to the streets in Edinburgh and film something, you probably com you're completely lost. It's, it's really difficult to do that. Because if you have like a theme, if they say, um, make a movie about the hobos of Edinburgh, you would know where to go. Or make a, a movie about the nightlife of Edinburgh, you would know where to go. But if you are challenged with a task that namely is uh, go to this city and show me, show me the heart of this city, uh, it's getting very difficult because you have to go long ways. You have to walk long ways. You have to start looking. You have to, uh, you're challenged by the, enorm the enormous concept of the nothingness. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's always the, the challenge for a documentary filmmaker in a way to make something out of nothing. You, or the whole void of, of things that you could make a, a film about. There is so many things, there is so many, much reality that's always altered in time that sometimes it's very hard to limit yourself on what to see and what to do and what to film. For example, I made a film once about the political situation in Austria when there was a, a right-wing move. And so many filmmakers in my country uh, would come together and say, let's do something about that. And I, I, I set myself the task that I said, I'm going to hitchhike for three weeks all across the country, and whoever picks me up uh, will talk about politics in these days. So that's, that's what I actually did. I got a camera and a microphone. I hitchhiked. I stood on the side of the, of the street. And first I had like almost a little crew. We were two or three. And nobody would pick us up. And then we would start filming inside of the car. And it didn't work. And the whole concept was like interesting but too, too spread apart. We, we couldn't focus ourselves on how to do it. And in the, in the end I did the whole film alone. And I only made two types of shots. I had to find that out, how to do two types of shots. I, I, I sat into the car when somebody picked me up hitchhiking. I put a microphone on, on, the, on, the, on the belt, and I had it's the only film I did with a video camera. And I had a video camera, and I asked those people about politics. And, and the situation was in so far very interesting, because people who drive a car, they watch the road. And when they watch the road, they're they let loose, they start talking. So I had one type of shot where the guy is in his car sitting talking about politics and another type of shot where Austria passes by. So uh, the whole film or the whole episode of these films, I only did with two types of shots because there was nothing else to tell. In the beginning, we started to film like cars passing by or, or the cars going over roadkill and we thought, yeah, we have to show the cars moving through the country. And the more and more I filmed, the more and more I threw it away because the two, the limitation, the, the actual real limitation to what was interesting was two types of shots, the guy driving and the country passing by. And I think with, with many, many things, that concern filmmaking, these kind of restrictions to find out what are the vital restrictions of you looking through a camera or working with a camera, that's what actual filmmaking is about. Like, like when, you, when you set out, and, and to get back to the example of the city, when you set out and, and you want to make a film about the rich and the poor of Edinburgh, you're like doomed with your film because you're not going to make a relevant film about the rich and you're not going to make a relevant film about the poor. You're going to say nothing because this is like methods of television to, to show you much and show you nothing. But, but the interesting way of look, looking in terms of a documentary film is restriction. It's restriction to one way of looking and to look at one issue or one way in, and, and, and in this kind of sense, you like 
get into a theme or get into a city or get into a life or get into a way of looking.